welcome back to my film and TV channel. We'll all stay safe and well. We're over to UK Freeview TV. See what's on. See what's back for a new series or brand new uh, from documentaries to uh, uh, crime drama series. Lots of different things. Comedy, straight, everything. And we're going to look at the 16th to the 22nd of March in the company of the TV Times. So join me please and uh, let me know anything you're looking forward to or anything you've watched recently. Be great to hear from you. Let us know your comments and your thoughts, and I will respond or give you a like if that's what it needs. Or if you can give me the TV time with me and uh, this little vlog a like, press that little like button, be much appreciated. Of course, check out the channel for stuff on my football team, Manchester City, as well. So, if you know anyone who might be interested in that, uh, give them a kick in my direction, I'd be very grateful. Right, shall we start at the beginning? We always start at the beginning, no, we'll start with Saturday. 16th of March, yes, 9.40, not my favourite singer, but uh, she might be yours, 9.40, BBC Two, Sinead O'Connor at the BBC, a look back through the BBC's archives at the work of the Irish singer-songwriter, not for me, but it might be for you, and that's what it's all about, it's not necessarily stuff I want to watch, but uh, just stuff that you, you might want to watch yourself. Same with Saturday, the 16th of March, 7 o'clock, A Royal Guide to Wales, so you royal followers, this is Channel 4, 7 o'clock. A one-off exploring the history of the royal family's relationship with Wales. So you might like that. Channel 5, 735, Wonka. The scandal that rocked Britain. Yes, this is a one-off exploring the disastrous Willie's chocolate experience in Glasgow. Glasgow, and obviously they've not put Wonka in the word there. So you have serious doubts about things like that straight away. Uh, which left children in tears and their parents furious while photos of the event went viral. Yes, it didn't, didn't look so good, did it? The pictures I saw, but that's uh, 7.35, Channel 5. That's followed at 8.40, the Dale Winton story, you remember? Yeah. One of a kind, one of documentary about the television presenter after burst onto our screens with a supermarket sweep. In 1993, Dale Winton stayed there for more than 25 years, becoming one of the most successful presenters of his generation until his death in 2018. So he wants a bit of, a bit of memory of Dale Winton. BBC Four, nine o'clock, The Gone, a one of six. This is a double bill of the thriller about an Irish couple who vanished from a New Zealand town. There you go, so that's nine o'clock till 10.45, BBC Four on the 16th of March and we will finish with that one so we'll go on to the Sunday uh, Sunday BBC One 4.35 in the afternoon so yes of course it was uh, Comic Relief on the fr previous Friday this is even more funny for money this is uh, Lenny Henry and Maya Yama look back at the highlights of this year's extravaganza so if you didn't watch it Full pelt, you can watch an hour of the highlights. Channel 4, 640, Inside McVitie's. Yes, my sister used to work there when I was uh, a teenager. Yes, uh, I probably put a bit of weight on eating all the broken biscuits she used to buy and bring home. Inside McVitie's, a one-off going behind the scenes of one of Britain's best-known brands. I don't know which McVitie's it is. Obviously, my uh, my daughter worked for the one in, in... My daughter. My sister worked for the one in Manchester. Uh, 7.40, The Great Celebrity Bake Off, stand for Stand Up to Cancer, so good fun, one of five, Alison Hammond, hmm, not my favourite, but well, for, for the sake of what she's doing, fair enough, and Noel Feed in return, Fielding return the culinary contest beginning as Jodie Whittaker, Paloma Faith, Munya Chihuahua and Spencer Matthews take part, so there you go, I, I, I used to quite like Bake Off, I've not watched it for a couple of years, but... Uh, Will I watch it? Probably not, because there's too much else to watch. Nine o'clock, it's back. Another series of Hunted. I do like Hunted. Return of the social experiment in which people are given fugitive status and go to extreme measures to avoid detection as hunters trap them down. So there you go. Twelve, Twelve guys will be released to try and escape. 11.55, Walter presents. This is all Channel, this is all channel 4 still. Top Dog, one of six, return of the Swedish crime drama series starring Josephine Asplund. So that's a subtitle. If you don't like subtitles, be wary. Channel 5, 8 o'clock, The Tube, keeping London moving. Yes, yeah, so a one of six, a series following the work of Transport for London, finding out how the three or 30,000 staff keep the city's transportation system going well. Uh, yeah, not too bad for me. I know Londoners don't like it, but when I've always been to London, I found it uh, quite good. On to Monday, the 18th of March, 6.30pm on BBC Two. 
Great British Railway Journeys. This is Denham to Swindon, one of 15, so there's 15 of these, a travel series where Michael Portillo embarks on exploration of Britain's southern counties, starting at London's Mar Marleybone Railway Terminus. Yeah, was that 200 quid on Monopoly? I'm not too sure. Over to Channel 4, 10 o'clock, Whites Only. A AIDS Extremist Adventure, a one-off in which Aid Adipatan visits a Whites Only South African town of Oranania. And discovers why the residents are so eager to create a society where multiculturalism seems to have no place. Interesting. Uh, Channel 5, a new drama called Coma, one of four, starring Jason Watkins and Joe Barber, devotes his family man Simon and finds himself at a breaking point when his neighbourhood falls victim to the terrorising behaviour of a group of teenagers. Okay, so that's probably a little bit dark as well, that one. That's followed at 10 o'clock. My Wife, My Abuser, The Secret Footage. A one-off revealing the story of how Richard Spencer was subjected to years of abuse at the hands of his wife, Cherie. There you go, so not much fun. It works both ways, doesn't it? But of course, it usually works the other way, mostly. Uh, BBC Four, 10 o'clock, Murder on the Victorian Railway. No, it's not Michael Portello in, in trouble. This is a one-off examining the first murder on a British train. There you go. It's just about Michael doing it, shouldn't it, really? I would have thought they might be, but it doesn't say it anyway. On to Tuesday. The 19th of March, 10.40, BBC One, The Dropout, I'm in a hurry, a one of eight, a fat-based drama with Amanda Seafried and William H. Macy telling the story of disgraced Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes. Oh, that should be good, some good dramas this week. Nine o'clock, uh, yeah, investigating a serial killer, The Real Serpent, this is Channel 4, nine o'clock. A uh, series having, having spent almost half his life in prison, suspected serial killer Charles Subraj agrees to be interrogated about murders he has never been tried for. That continues the day after as well. Uh, staying with Tuesday, the 19th of March, 9 o'clock on 5 USA, Series 22 or Season 22, Episode 1 of, if you like it, Law and Order. Yeah, McCoy and Price seek justice, I'm sure they do. Nine o'clock, more for Rick, Ricky, Sue, and a trip or two. Yeah, see, see what they did there. T Ricky Tomlinson and Sue Johnson present the travel series. So obviously that's a special there. Nine o'clock on more for. Over to Wednesday, the twentieth of March, twelve ten, Channel Four. So on Thursday morning, really twelve ten a.m. Uh, a new my uncle is the Green River Killer. His is he? Not mine, but that's that's what the programme is. A one-off examine the story of Gary Ridgway, believed to be America's most prolific serial killer. There's a lot of uh, true life stuff this week as well as normal. Channel 5, 8 o'clock is an exciting programme. Now sit down for this one. Air Fryers, do you have the right one? Yeah, well, that's a question we've always asked. A one-off in which Alexis Conran takes a tongue-in-cheek, thank, thanks for that, uh, look at how the latest kitchen gadgets have gripped the nation and made their mark on social media. So we, we give in to the air fryer craze and bought one a, three or four months ago. On to really staying with Wednesday the 20th of March, really, nine o'clock, the Bad Foot Clinic. There you go, got a bit of a pain in your foot. There you are, you're sorted. Medical series following patients visiting a, visiting a podiatry clinic in London. Yes, and uh, hope they've washed the feet before they go. On to Thursday, the 21st of March. Oh, BBC Two, nine o'clock. Carrie Fisher, A Life in Pictures. Uh, return of the documentary profiling famous faces, beginning with actor and writer Carrie Fisher, who played Princess Leia in the original Star Wars films. Very nice. And on to Thursday, uh, sorry, on to Friday, the 22nd of March, 8 o'clock. Yes, well, we've had Death in Paradise and we had a new thing called Beyond Paradise, didn't we? Which I quite liked and Series 2 is going to start. One of eight, Return of the Drown, which Chris Marshall, I do like him, uh, an actor playing the victim in a murder mystery play is found dead with a knife in his back. Yeah, not, not Chris Marshall's, uh, an actor in the amateur play. Uh, 8.30, Channel 4, Travel Man. 48 hours in Trieste. Remember that travel when he used to roll the dice and decide what he was going to do? Yeah, 
can't remember what that was called. Let me know if you remember. Return of the Travel Series, Joe Lysett and Alan Spunkbull Davis uh, enjoy an action-packed weekend exploring Trieste in Italy where they visit its Wim Museum. I will not be watching Mr. Alan Davis. I don't watch any of, anything of his anymore. Channel 5, 8 o'clock, the Railway Map of Britain. One-off examining how the invention of the railway at the dawn of the 19th century changed the world. Yeah, that's, I think that's something I'll have a look at. Uh, any Michael Portillo in it? I don't think so. No, he's missing out, isn't he? He's missing out. At least three, another two railway programmes he could have took part in there. There you go, guys. Uh, my thanks again to the TV Times uh, on subscription at the moment. All right, not as cheap as it was, six six for a quid, but uh, yeah, reasonably priced at the moment, so I'll carry it on for a while anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Please let us know what you're looking forward to having a watch of and uh, or anything I might have missed uh, let me know and uh, it might be something I might have to ooh, I'll have to press that record button myself thanks for watching join me again oh that's one thing don't I please stay safe everyone bye for now <laughs>